So nothing stays constant in the world, and the same applies to aviation. So guys, towards the end of last year, Singapore Airlines retired four of their Airbus A330-300 aircraft from their fleet. Now due to their age and the amount of service that they've done for the airline, their entire A330 fleet will be replaced by both the A350-900 and also the 787-10 Dreamliners. Now when the planes were retired, they were given to TAP Portugal, but ever since they started receiving their new A330-900 NEOs, they no longer need the older planes. Now for airlines, the aftermarket is a haven to buy planes at a cheap price, and if you play your cards right, then you can catch yourself some hefty bargains and also some discounts. And that's exactly what Air Canada are planning to do. Now, there are reports that the airline is going to purchase four of the A330 planes from Singapore Airlines. Now, the airline already has eight of the A330s in their fleet, and there's a subtle reason as to why they want to purchase these planes. So if you've been following Air Canada news in recent months, then you would know that they released their plans to retire their Boeing 767 fleet, which only consists of six aircraft. Now it's not a big fleet, but nevertheless, it serves its purpose well. We're already seeing a shift in the industry to smaller and more fuel efficient aircraft, and that's the way to go if you want to remain profitable and also stay relevant. Now the retired 767 planes will be sent over to their sister airline, Air Canada Rouge, and the gap left by the retired planes will be filled by the A330s until the airline acquires new fuel-efficient aircraft. But what's interesting regarding this purchase is that the plane will feature a completely different interior compared to what the airline already offers. Looking at Air Canada's 767s, they have 187 economy seats and 24 business. If you compare that to Singapore's A330s, then they have 225 economy and also 30 business. Now that's quite a difference, and here's a picture of Singapore's A330 configuration. As you can see, it has plenty of room for extra passengers, and it would be a great bonus for Canada to be more profitable on any particular route. Now the airline is planning to reconfigure the planes to their current A330 configuration, but this is going to take a lot of time, and it will most likely be done around 2019. And finally, in terms of routes, well, they'll most likely fly to the same destinations that their current 767s fly, international and also domestic. A clear-cut plan hasn't been released by the airline, so we're just assuming that the planes are simply going to replace the older ones and fill those particular routes. So guys, that's some news regarding Singapore Airlines and Air Canada A330. If you've ever flown an Air Canada or Singapore Airlines, be it the A330 or the 767, then definitely share your experiences with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I hope to see you captains in the next one.